uh, today's paper of the presentation is the role of MRI study in evaluation of the perianal fistula. My aims and objectives are to diagnose, evaluate perianal fistula, to determine its course, extension, relation to surrounding structure, which aids in the pre-operative planning, to study the age group, uh, gender-wise distribution, to determine the disease incidence of the recurrence, and allowing the side effects as such, uh, like fecal incontinence, to be avoided. Introduction. In a fistula, there is an abnormal collection between the two epithelial structure or organ or between an organ and the surface of the body. Uh, in perianal fistula, abnormal collection exists between epithelial surface of analgena, perineum. Mm, uh, MRI allows to identification secondary tracks, other disease extension to the perianal and supralevator space that would be otherwise remain undetected. Uh, perianal fistula can be primary or secondary to inflammatory bowel disease, cons disease, malignancy, or previous surgery, etc. Discussion. Techniques for the imaging. Uh, techniques for the imaging. Techniques for the Im techniques for the imaging perianal fistula. An NRT1 weighted images are provide an excellent anatomical overview of the sphincter complex, levator space, ischiorectal fossa, fistula tract, inflammation. However, appear area of the low signal intensity cannot be distinguished from the normal structure. However, T1 images are useful to discriminate between the post-operative hemorrhages from the residual tract, from the residual tract, from the residual tract, as the former will appear hyper intense on non-enhanced T1 weighted on T2 and stir images, fistulous tract, inflammation, abscess appears as the area of high signal intensity can be uh, can clearly distinguished from the normal tissue, which appears high point. Clinical presentation: most of our patients present with like perianal discharge, bloody or pleural type, perianal pain and tenderness, uh, pruritus, uh, pruritus, itching. Perianal swelling, fever, constipation, bleeding with the bleeding while defecation, and any other complaints. Anatomy of the perineal muscles on MRI. Ischiorectal. First of all, there is a we have a two images. First is a schematic diagram on your left, and uh, there is a MR T1 weighted images axial. Uh, it is suggest external sphincter. Uh, then inter between external and inter there is a Intersphincteric space. Uh, there is a ischio anal fossa. You can clearly see uh, ischio anal fossa, intersphincteric space, internal and external sphincter. Now, there is a classification uh, anal block. Uh, towards genitalia or perineal region, there is a 12 o'clock. And then towards the posterior aspect, and in the sacral aspect, there is a 6 o'clock. When there is a 9 o'clock, which is the right side of the patient, 3 o'clock, which is the left side of the patient. Uh, the T2 image of MR beta images of the MR, male perineal shows the anal or uh, anal clock diagram used to correct the locate and fistula with the respective anal scan. There is a two classification, the two classification to uh, classify the perineal fistula according to their surgical treatment or interventional groups. First, uh, there is an intersphincteric, transphincteric, supra-sphincteric, extra-sphincteric. External sphincteric is a keystone of the par, par classification. External sphincter, mostly external sphincter. Once there is a transphincter, you can see A is the is your intersphincteric between internal sphincter and external sphincter. B is your transphincteric. C e is your supra sphincteric and D is your extra sphincteric, which is you can say which is extending up to the supra levator space also. Uh, there is another classification, St. James classification. The grade one, uh, grade one is a simple intersphincteric fistula. Grade two is an inter hem intersphincteric fistula with abscess and secondary tract formation. Three is a simple transphincteric fistula. Four is a transphincteric fistula with uh, abscess and secondary tract formation and grade 5 is your supra or extra sphincteric fistula. 
here is the intersynteric fistula T1 better analysis you can clearly see which through the external sphincter and entering the intersynteric vein at six o'clock position this is a transsynteric fistula you can clearly see ax uh, axial contrast at the T1 better images transsynteric fistula which is seen by arrow uh, this and highly enhancing transsynteric fistula on a dense line uh, from the dented line to the skin to a issue anal portion and pierced to the head. there is a supraspinteric fistula there is a extra extra sphincteric fistula a hyper intense to equity perirectal and perianal from 1 o'clock to 6 o'clock position communicating with the rectal canal at 6 o'clock position track descends downwards to the left at an extra sphincteric course abutting the levator and eye muscle grade 1 fistula is a simple intersynteric fistula grade 2 is a intersynteric fistula with collection and abscess formation a uh, simple transsynteric fistula transsynteric fistula with collection and abscess formation uh, there is a supra and extra sphincteric fistula which is a, also called as a supra levator space uh, extending into the supra levator space material the source of the data in the patient is the acid oxide and amdala uh, all the patients refer to the department of radiology and acid oxide in amdala we list clinical suspect or diagnosis of having perianal fistula uh, in period of july 2022 july august 21 uh, a detailed history of regarding age sex clinical and radiological sample that uh, this study is conducted for the clinically suspect or diagnosis of having fistula in plain mri study age group there is a diagnosis of having most of age group is 41 to 60 years of the age uh, there is a two classification and there is a pars and samjes and according to the most common study is intersynteric fistula and the most common grade in our study is grade one simple intersynteric fistula the result the out of 40 patient with clinically suspected or having the diagnosis of the perianal fistula 31 were male 9 were female and this majority 27 belong and belongs to the 30 to 50 years of the age group with intersynteric being the most common according to pars fistula and grade 1 according to st james fistula conclusion mri has the ability to uh, to detect fistula associated with abscess second deformation uh, other other challenging like for other uh, radiological modalities in addition there are can provide the comprehensive images of anatomical correlation between the sphincter and pelvic floor and levator evaluation evaluation of clinically undetectable uh, significant bearing on guiding the medical therapy or surgical therapy it can help in minimize the recurrence and improve the pre operative surgical planning and post operative outcomes this is the list of reference thank you so much